interesting happenings in um, in Ohio last night. Uh, I guess this is sort of the way of, of politics in our country, Bill, and I want you to, to give me your take on this if you don't mind. But if the Democrats only lose by a little bit, they won somehow. And if the Republican wins, they still lost. Is it? Did I get it right? Um, yeah, the media spins it that way, and then President Trump spins it that um, the Republican candidate was so far behind, then he went there to campaign for him, and suddenly he rocketed. <clears throat> the truth is that Americans basically are watching right now. They're not reacting. This is very important. Yeah. So you have a, a special election in Ohio 12, the 12th district. Not that many yeah. people turned out. About 200,000, not, not many. And the Republican won, but now he has to run again in November because he's replacing uh, another Republican who resigned to become a business person. And he's running against the same, right. same guy, O'Connor. So the race will, will be uh, in November, and then we'll see. And I, I fully expect the Republicans to win in this district if the economy stays where it is right now. But what the press doesn't care about, because what they want to do is root for anything bad to happen to Donald Trump. So if Democrats get elected, right. uh, that's bad for Trump. And hopefully he'll be impeached in the House if the, if the Republicans lose the House. That's what the press wants. You can imagine all the money that will be earned by cable news and the network news if Donald Trump is impeached. Buckets of money. All right, tens of millions of dollars. So just on an economics, they're rooting for Trump to get impeached. Now, the president knows that he has got to keep the House of Representatives. The Senate looks like it'll stay Republican. I think Claire McCaskill yeah. out in Missouri is going to lose. Uh, a Republican will take that seat. Um, but he knows he has to keep the House. And that's going to be razor thin. But nobody, Joe can predict what's going to happen in August. No one. So final point, if you're sitting there on your butt listening to people predict <laughs> races on cable television, yeah. you're a moron. They don't know anything. <laughs> Go out and talk to a four-year-old in the neighborhood. That kid will know more than these people do. There you go. Yeah, but, but you know, but it's interesting. Nobody else has ever said that. It's Bill O'Reilly, BillOReilly.com, of course, that uh, that the media has a vested interest in impeachment hearings, even if they don't want them to be impeached. They want them to be because of the buckets of money. I never th even thought about that before. I think that that's, that's prescient. I, I, think that, I think you're absolutely right about that. All of the calculations on cable news in particular are made about money. So MSNBC... Yeah. It's a liberal network, okay? And NBC News runs it. But does NBC News like MSNBC? No, not particularly. They're embarrassed by it. Does it make wow. money? Some money, some, but not Fox News money, okay? But if there's impeachment, they'll triple their billings. So NBC is yeah. just sitting there going, hey, that's what we're in business to do, not report the news, not tell the truth, not even to seek the truth. We're in a business to make money, so we'll put these people here and hopefully it'll happen. You get the no spin news from BillOReilly.com. Make sure you stop by there. This Alexandria Ocasio Cortez has been saying the most outlandish things. Things like, uh, we're going to turn this seat red, which makes no sense. That's not what she's trying to do. That if you have two jobs, you somehow made the unemployment rate lower, which of course isn't how it works. So every candidate that she backed, and everybody thought she was the new up and, uh, up and coming star, lost yesterday. Does the Democrat Party bill now run away from her? Or do they keep on trying to hang their, or you know, hitch their, their wagon to this, this woman because she's young and cute? You know, I got to tell you, Joe, I just think she's great. I, I just think this woman is great. <laughs> I do. I think okay. I, a 28-year-old right. woman, okay, who decides to run against a fat cat congressman who couldn't care less about his district, all right, the Irish guy who lost to her, who goes out and works right. her butt off and wins the primary. And now she thinks that she's Winston Churchill, Okay. She does. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to take everything back. Now, I like her. I like the work ethic. I like the ambition. But the truth is, and I don't say this with any 
uh, arrogance at all, that she doesn't okay. know anything. She doesn't know anything. Now, that puts her on a par with most politicians in Washington. None of them know anything, <laughs> all right? She's 28. She's got a chance. I'll, you know, if she wants yeah. to come over to my house, I'll give her a tutorial, and I'll teach her a little history yeah. and a little economics and a little political science. But does she know anything? No. She doesn't know anything. She was elected because the people in the district go, the Irish guy doesn't care about us. She's working her butt off. We're going to vote for her. And if she can get us some free stuff, we'll be happy. That's it. That, well, that, that, well, that's exactly what it's turning out to be because it's certainly not because of her economics degree that she has from Boston College or something. I don't, I don't know how she got Boston it because she doesn't U. seem to understand anything about it. But is it Boston U? Is that what it was? I think, I think it was so, Boston I mean, U, I, but I could be wrong. But I, I felt – because I went to Boston U, and I thought that she was right. uh, one of my uh, fellow terriers. Um, but I'm not I, I'm but, not 100 percent. I, I think you're probably possible. right. I mean, but you but, but you seem to have learned something there, Bill. I, I'm not so sure that she did. No, it's Bill O'Reilly. I didn't learn Bill anything. Bill O'Reilly.com. No, <laughs> I, I learned in the school of hard knocks, Joe. That's where I learned. I got you, brother. 